Hi everyone, William Weiser is here, and welcome to Day 8 of Message Week 2-Parter. And to start things off today, I'd like to give a shout out to Kelly Bowling. What I don't know is where she's from, and I'm just curious as to know where. What I do know is that earlier today, she told me what her favorite Booba episode is. And Kelly Bowling's favorite Booba episode is... Jack in the Box. The reason why is because of the springy box with the Jack inside. And Mrs. Lady and Brother and Sister have a great time jumping up high with the Jack in the Box after Brother spins the key on it so many times. And it's just way too fast and I can't even count. Like about like 17 or 18 times that fast. I don't know. And... What I like about the Jack in the Box, other than that scene, uh, is, is of course, the Jack's smiley face and its squeaky noises that it makes. So, here is the main thing that I want to talk about. What I have written down here are examples of stuff from PBS Kids, Nick Jr., Nickelodeon, and Disney that Rick Rampazanetti is interested in. From PBS Kids, he's interested in shows like Teletubbies, Booba, of course, because it's the main focus in our movie, Dragon Tales, Barney and Friends, Thomas and Friends, and Fetch with Rough Ruffman. And, uh, yeah, th there are a lot of other PBS Kids shows that I'm interested in, like Arthur, and... Maybe Sesame Street, you know, that's for children that are way too young. Uh, uh, and a few others. Oh, and Clifford the Big Red Dog. And a few others as well. As for Nick Jr., we have Blue's Clues, Blue's Clues and You, Peanuts, even though it's not a Nick Jr. show, The Backyardigans, and Little Bear. When I was a child, I had a lot of I had a lot of Nick Jr. shows that I liked, but now that I'm old, my days of that have gone by bye. And now I've only now yeah, and now I only like three Nick Jr. shows, which are Blue's Clues, the most obvious, Little Bear, and Little Charmers. And speaking of peanuts, on one of the peanuts videos I have which is entitled, It Was My Best Birthday Ever, Charlie Brown. There are three opening trailers for that VHS. Paramount Means Family Entertainment, the Nick Jr. on Video Cassette commercial, and Paramount Family Favorites. When Rick saw this, he thought it was weird that that VHS had the Nick Jr. on Video, the Nick Jr. On Video Cassette commercial, but there's one problem. Peanuts is not a Nick Jr. show. And at the time, a lot of videos of that show were produced by Paramount, and Nickelodeon is associated with Paramount, but I don't know. And, and I didn't know that the VHS had that commercial until I checked it out of the library for the first and only time. And now I have a copy of it, and I've seen that part so many times. As for Nickelodeon, we have a quite a bunch of it here. We have Rugrats, SpongeBob SquarePants, The Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantom, iCarly, Big Time Rush, Drake and Josh, Avatar, The Last Airbender, and All Grown Up. And as for me... Other Nickelodeon shows I'm interested in are Tough Puppy, The Penguins of Madagascar, uh, Chunk Zone, and Avatar The Last Airbender spinoff, The Legend of Korra. And, and to be honest, I'm more interested in The Legend of Korra because I like Korra. And, and I'm just going to say this to all Avatar The Last Airbender fans. Avatar The Last Airbender fans, I have never seen a full episode. And I got introduced to that on the 
Home Sweet Pineapple VHS. Shortly after seeing one of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life, which involves the Tac Two staff of the Tac Two staff of Dreams commercial, and one of the scariest dragons I've ever seen in my life. And I also like some short-lived Nickelodeon shows, like Super Ninjas, uh, Bucket and Skinner's Epic Adventures, and How to Rock, and. Uh, and a few other Nickelodeon shows, whether they're long-lived or short-lived. And as for Disney, we have Mickey Mouse, The Lion King, one and a half. And of course, we're doing that reenactment scene. And the huge supporting cast will be, af will be in the movie after our rewinding scenes. Finding Nemo, The Wiggles, because, because it was on Playhouse Disney at the time. Winnie the Pooh. And Mary Poppins. And as for me, my favorite Disney related thing, aside from Winnie the Pooh, which I still love, and the Wiggles, I love them too, and maybe Bill Nye the Science Guy, even though I haven't seen it that much, are Pixar movies. And my favorites from them are, of course, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, Up, and Coco. And those are the shows or examples of shows that interest Rick. And that's mostly it for today. And only two episodes left of Message Week to Parter. Then I'm done with this. And I have one more week of Heroes Camp left. And I'm done for the summer and the year. And I'm interested to see what other things about the movie I'll talk about tomorrow and and if I if I'm fast enough I'll do both they I'll both sorry I'll do both the final two episodes on Friday if I can't I'll do one on Friday and one sometime during the weekend and speaking of Friday So, I say happy anniversary to them, and I'll see you tomorrow for the second to last day of Message Week 2-parter. Until then, this is William Weiser saying goodbye.